All right, hey guys, it's uh, Dragapon, and today we are going to be learning about arrays. Um, it's kind of the whole purpose I'm doing this uh, rock paper scissors tutorial is to teach you about arrays. Um, and if we have time, I'm going to try to go over for loops as well. So first of all, arrays. Let's go ahead and explain to you the concept. Okay. Arrays are essentially variables within variables. They're just, they're completely treated like variables in Game Maker. Um, they're just more complex. They're, they're also kind of, they kind of work like a coordinate system. So to make an array, all you have to do is give them a name, just like a normal variable, and then you put these things next to them, the square brackets, which are uh, to the right of the P key on your keyboard and then you can set them equal to a value either a number or uh, like we've already used for normal variables um, a string of either text or numbers um, but yeah so that's that's all there is to making one um, but, I, but you actually can't just leave it like that you have to put something else in here you have to put a number you can put a number or a variable that is has been set with previously set with a number like if we had fas equals number and that's that so this would be a one dimensional array um, for a two dimensional array we would have variable one and comma then we put a second variable in here so this this works essentially like if you ever took math class and learned about graphing this would be the x and the y pretty much um, except that it's you're setting it equal to a value it's not just it's not only usable for a grid so for instance what I'm going to be using these for today is saying which option has been chosen and then we're going to set some properties for that so this is the current option and then this one would be the property and that's array name all right and then value property value okay so here I'm gonna make the array I'm gonna name it choice and then put a square bracket there and then inside the square bracket we can only put numbers and arrays already always start with zeros because the way computers work is instead of counting to four starting on one like we do instead of going one two three four computers go zero one two three four um so yeah so we're going to do choice zero zero so what this is saying is the first choice and the first property of that choice which in this case I'm going to have the first choice be rock and the first property is going to be the string um, that I want it to show which is well the name rock and then for the second choice the second choice which is one its string zero is going to be paper this paper is the second one and then we're going to do that again for two which is actually the third option of scissors do, do. semicolon okay so you may be able to tell or at least understand a bit more how a, how this array is working the zero in the second locate in the second spot the second coordinate the y coordinate um 
is denoting the property variable and in which this case zero means the name variable and the first coordinate is denoting which object is it is you're hovering over which sprite and whatnot so this is zero one two which is rock paper and scissors okay so that's basically how arrays work um now for for loops here's how a for loop works you type four and that tells a game maker that you're making a for loop and then sim it's a function um, unlike an if statement which is just a conditional check uh, however it's a special function in that after you define the function you make a block just like in an if statement with these curly braces and then inside of here you type some code and then here's here's how they actually work though all right you've got three statements in here statements separated by semicolons so the first statement you do is setting the starting value equal to whatever you want it to start at so usually zero in my case it's going to be zero and then after that so that's what it does first so it says four and then it sets this value this variable equal to this and then after that it runs the condition which is so it'll check to see if the you know starting value actually the value is less than or equal to or greater than well greater than less than but yeah you, you get the point so this does a value and then a condition it checks the value we'll just show that this is value it checks the to see if the value meets this condition and if if it doesn't then it quits going but if it does then it will run this code and then after it runs the code it does the next statement which is telling it what to do um, so like you I'm in this case I'm gonna make uh, the value go up by one okay and then in the code well that actually so yeah that's that's how a uh, for loops work so I'm just gonna cut this and then we're gonna go over into the draw event the drawing script and we're gonna paste the for loop right in here mm-hmm and then we're going to cut all of this stuff under rock. We're going to cut that out and paste it in the code area of the for loop. Oops. Oh, snap. Wrong code. All right. So, yeah. We're going to paste it there. And then we just highlight this stuff here and press tab to line it up. Okay. And now what we can do is we can change this to be choice uh, and then the value, the value variable right there, zero, which would type the string. And then we can do, all right, we need to change the condition to three. We want the value to be less than three so that way it doesn't go over because remember the only options for value are zero one and two so and that's rock paper and scissors so we want it to go through all three of them and draw a sprite for each one um so we will change this to be choice uh, value 
comma one. And then what else do we need to change? We need to change the Y values here. So this will be plus choice. Value and two. And then plus choice underscore or bracket value. Then we can actually just copy this, paste it here, and paste it here, delete these things, okay. So if I've done everything correctly, then I should just be able to um, completely delete out rock, paper, and, er, yeah, just delete out paper and scissors. And then I have to come in here and create the variables for them. So choice, uh, zero, one. Okay, and then this is two. And then choice one, one. Choice one, two. And then choice one, nope. Two, one and choice two two okay now the first one I believe we said was the sprite name so sprite rock and then the next one was the coordinates um, or the additional coordinate Okay, so zero for that one, and then this one would be sprite paper, and this one would be uh, 31, no, 32, and then right in here we had um, equals SPR scissors, This is uh, 64. All right. Now, if we come over here and hit play, then it should work perfectly. Oh, it kind of worked. Um, but I did something wrong to where they're not lined up properly. So let's go figure out what I did wrong here. All right, so come over to the draw event, come in here, what I do wrong? Ah, I think it was this thing it looks like. Um, this needs to say plus the choice of value, comma, two. All right, that should have fixed it. Let's check it. And there we go. And that is how you use an array and a for loop.